Hello, it's me again, Wen. And um, today I'm going to do something a bit different. Um, not really reviewing anything per se, but just a uh, quick uh, video update to uh, keep the blog moving. You know, I've been a bit busy um, with some uh, real life commitments, uh, i.e., work. Uh, so I didn't really have time to post much on the blog. Uh, you might not know it, but <laughs> writing a blog takes much longer time than uh, making a short video like this because uh, there's a lot of research, uh, photo editing and whatnot involved. But uh, enough of that, let's talk about some of the new gear that I've gotten this week. Um, the first thing that I'm really excited about is uh, this um, full stainless steel tank. Can you see it? Yeah, it's a... Uh, it's a stainless steel tank for the Fogger V2. Yeah, there you go. Nice focus. Um, I got it for about 35 ringgit. 10 US dollars. And I got it from a local seller, which is quite interesting because um, I've noticed that these local sellers have gotten quite uh, entrepreneurial, if that's even the correct word, uh, recently. Um, there has been the uh, clear or sort of ice top cap for the fogger there has been the uh, release of the plastic tank uh, of course plastic will break if you put in tank killers but it won't break if you drop it um, then of course there's the regular pyrex tanks uh, so this is the newest thing to come on this is the stainless steel tank and uh, it's pretty nice it actually um, if you use the fogger then you know that the top cap is actually quite a good quality stainless steel um, not exactly thick but not too thin either and um, the stainless steel tank for the fogger is pretty hardy it's pretty hardy I haven't done the magnet test yet but um, so far I've run two tanks today um, on this uh, I don't get the sort of metally metallic taste that you do with some cheaper tanks so I'm pretty happy with that um, good 35 ringgit spin I think and um, anyway, this is running on a uh, 0.9 ohm, a nine, ten, 10 coil of uh, 26 AWG Alien Cantel uh, with some cotton inside. I'm running, what's that tiger? Um, Jade Tiger on it. So it's quite a good bit. I like the flavor on that and uh, that brings me to the second thing you might have also seen on my facebook posting that i picked up the um the stainless steel tank yes another stainless steel tank but this time it's for the g-bell um i don't know what got into me uh, i actually saw this stainless steel tank on sale uh for maybe already two weeks already and uh, this one retails for 43 ringgit of 45 ringgit uh, I got this from kakivapor.com they are a small setup located in uh, Old Klang Road uh, nice guys there uh, they do postage but I went down to the shop since I was in the area the other day um, funny story the Pyrex tank that comes with the g -Bell, that's a bloody strong tank it took me the whole day actually to uh, get that tank off uh, in the process, I dropped the G-Bell, um, I tried pulling it with a rubber glove and the whole G-Bell flew to the wall, hit the wall, hit the floor, not a single crack on the Pyrex tank. So um, I've got that wrapped up in my bait box, um, ready for another tour of duty. <laughs> it was a real mission to get it off and I finally got it off after uh, one of my buddies suggested that I put the whole uh, atomizer in the freezer. Uh, one hour in the freezer and that uh, sort of shrunk the o-rings that were holding in place uh, pulled off the tank uh, replaced the o-rings and slid on the uh, stainless steel tank again very thick um, as thick as the pyrex on the jiba which was surprisingly thick no i've changed pyrex on um, the agati uh, i changed pyrex on the steam turbine clone and that was really thin um, I've changed the quartz on the Alamis that was uh, decently thick but the Pyrex on the g -Bell is thick really thick and now you know the, the, the stainless steel tank not any thinner 
Um, Kaki Vapor guys, they told me that this stainless steel tank is not a custom. It's actually from the model himself, uh, which I believe is Yankee 69. <laughs> Can't get over that name, Yankee 69. Um, but yeah, so they said that they got the tank straight from him, so uh, it's official. Um, why am I running this on? I'm running this on a 5 loop uh, with some mesh. I believe this is 28 AWG vapor wire. Got it on my little uh, puff box Duo 650. And I've got I've got some uh, hazelnut hazelnut latte from Caboose. Caboose juice. No, Caboose blend. Now Caboose blend, uh, I'm supposed to do a review for their liquids. Uh, haven't got around to doing that yet. Um, picked up uh, three sets Do I have it here? No, it's outside I picked up a three bottle set from auction for about 70 ringgit but um, I, I talked with the uh, juice lender himself and he said that they are selling um, 30 ml bottles 30 ml bottles for 35 ringgit and it's a pretty good deal you know, I'm a bit weary of um, how would I say uh, cheaper liquids you know we're sport these days we've got american stuff the standard uh mr e liquid yeah but uh you know you got premium stuff space jam uh, and you know all the good stuff which is brew one uh, uh, nickel ticket <laughs> um you know we're, 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 we've given access to all these good liquids and it kind of make us wonder or give us this mindset that cheap stuff is not good but that's not the case especially with uh, caboose blend um, I tried the vanilla latte and this is the hazelnut latte yeah and uh, one more is the uh, icy lemon icy lemon I think I used that in another of my reviews uh, so far all three juices pretty good 50-50 uh, mix 12 mg uh, for $35 it's a steal 35 ringgit that's $10 anyway I'll give this a vape You notice I got the um, custom Muhammad Raihan Hellfire drip tip here. I wrote about that on the blog not too long ago. And uh, paired with the <laughs> G-Bell, that's a pretty intense vape. Okay, so two stainless steel tanks down. Well, I still got the K-Fun, right? <laughs> and, um, Ever since I got the K-Fun Light, uh, this is the K-Fun Light, not the K-Fun Light Plus. Uh, I've found that I prefer the stainless steel tank. Um, yeah, and it's running on my uh, burn box mod. This is a single 650. I picked this up from auction as well uh, from my buddy Ashraf, Ivan Ashraf. Um, you know, it's a dinky little mod. It's a wood box, uh, fully mechanical runs on one single 18650 uh, doesn't use wires instead it uses this uh, solid sort of copper copper uh, well it's a wire but it's not a not a flimsy electrical wire it's, you know, it's the stuff that you used to make the springs with and uh, I've been pretty impressed with how this works so far um, the only setback well benefit setback uh, the positive post it does not use a uh, 510 spring but instead it uses a pure sort of copper plate there so you will need to have a uh, battery with a nipple um, i will be posting a review of this or more rather an in-depth review on this but this is just a sort of glance at it you no know, i love the little droid thing going on there <laughs> and um the 18 350 box you should just look that up. That's bloody cute. If I get a chance, I'll get one of those. Um, but, uh, you know, back to the main topic today. It's a trend which you can see that I'm going through. All metal tanks. All metal tanks. Awesome stuff. Not that expensive after all, you know. Um, you would think that stainless steel costs a lot, but pretty decent priced. So um, the K-Fan light is running on a um, 
11 rack microcall again 26 AWG Cantal um, Alien Cantal from Fake Bros. Uh, I'm uh, vaping uh, Hanuman. Yes, Hanuman. Well, um, what else do I have to talk about? Last night I posted a uh, short update on the Facebook page. Um, if you are visiting or viewing this video from the blog itself, you might want to visit my Facebook page. It's uh, facebook.com slash vaping1. Um, I'm looking to Facebook a, a bit more these days since uh, you know, I can just post quick updates on the go on the mobile. Um, you know, I don't really have the luxury of sitting in front of a PC so so long. So uh, yeah, you know, follow the uh, Facebook page. Um, anyway, well, last night I posted something on the Facebook page. Let me just bring it up. Um, you know, I had a list of sort of things that were coming in this week. Uh, you know, the SS tank for the Fogger, that was one of them. And uh, let's see, okay. Uh, the Rocket FT, yeah, that's coming in from Fast Tech. Uh, the Rocket, if you don't already know, it's a... It's not a direct clone of the K-Fan. Well, it is, but they're not selling it as a K-Fan clone. So that's some plus points for them. Um, at a glance, you know, it's chrome plated brass so that might be a problem I actually bought it to see if um, the chrome plating would be a problem you know whether it would hack off or melt off but, uh, anyway that's on the way here from Fastex um, postal tracking says it's already arrived so it's just a matter of time maybe two or three days before it reaches here and that will be coming together with the uh, iOS TD clone and that's also from Fastex um, I have an I have a really uh, cheap uh, 14500 mod that's coming in, fully mechanical. I think that cost $6 from uh, Fastech, so that's going to be interesting. It'll be a good utility mod, something I can throw around. Um, and also the Atmizu Roller. I was supposed to get that. Um, I want it from auction again uh, for a really dirt cheap price. Uh, you know, the seller was supposed to post it out today, uh, but he called me about 6 p.m. today and told me that um, his car got broken into uh, the roller along with um, his own mail they were sending out all got stolen. True, not true, who knows. Uh, he refunded me, good on him. Uh, I sincerely hope that you know, he's doing okay if his car got broken into. If it didn't, then I uh, you know, whatever, it's fine. But um, since he did refund me, um, I did use that money uh, to pick up something else, uh, something that I've been looking forward to uh, trying, you know, for quite a while. Um, as you know, um, I've got the Leo V2, which is a 17mm um, mod, and I run the arrow on that. So I was looking for something different for the mod, and um, I saw the spheroid, 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 the GP spheroid. Uh, you know, I looked at it and you know, it looks like a pretty sexy Atti. Unfortunately, it cost between four to five hundred for one new, or was it five to six hundred for a new one? And uh, second-hand ones were going for about three hundred ringgit. Um, not exactly something I could buy off a whim, but um, I saw a unit going for much cheaper today. Uh, you know, right in my budget spot. Um, I just had to top up a little bit of money to uh, from the refund that I got for the roller to get the um, spheroid, spheroid, spheroid. But anyway, long story short, uh, that's posting up tomorrow, so I will get that soon. Um, again, you know, I'll try and give you a review soon. Um, if not a written one, then a video one. Not too good with video editing, so not sure how that will turn out. Uh, okay, what else? What other gear do I have coming in? Uh, I've got a uh, telescopic positive pin set for the Leo coming in. That's actually a GP Pups, GP Pups uh, pin set. Uh, picked it up for a reasonable price. That's because the um, Leo uses a really shitty sort of a 510 connector spring combo the spring actually compressed the first time i fired it up and it's been giving me a uh, pretty lousy firing ever since 
so I'm getting that uh, upgraded I think it's gonna be silver plated 24k gold there was an option for pure silver pin but that was much more expensive and uh, there was an option for rhodium plated that's gonna be even more expensive so let's just forget about it yes I'm supposed to give up two bottles of um, sky vapor liquids 100 ml bottles it's almost one and I have to be up at six so I can't do it today I'll do it tomorrow I promise uh, 200 bot 200 ml bottles to be given up those are the last two um, maybe further on I'll be giving off the uh, some of my unused at these probably um, start with the Steven Tavang clone you know I know a lot of people were excited about that the excitement has died off since uh, so many other clones have been released but uh, yeah I'm looking to give that out too um, what else what else you know if you're in Malaysia and you follow a lot of the um, vaping pages you know you've got 101 vaping pages in Malaysia um, on Facebook and uh, one of the most popular ones is called um, Vapors Malaysia Open Group VMOC so you know if you're in Malaysia and you subscribe to this page you would have seen that there's a fair bit of drama there you know, it started off when the uh, Typhoon clone came on the market. Uh, going price was about 150, 160. Then, uh, you know, some people got restless, some sellers got restless and uh, dropped the price, pushed to 120, 130, I think. And uh, because of that, some of the posts got deleted, some of the sellers got banned, and that really struck the hornet's nest. Um, a lot of people are really unhappy by the way that VMOC is conducting themselves. It's supposed to be an open group, but they're not acting very openly. I might get banned for posting this. <laughs> Who knows? Um, but yeah, you know, it's a rocky time. It's a rocky time in uh, the Malaysian vaping scene. But I guess um, what I'm trying to say is the harder the crash, um, the bigger the rise. I really hope that... Um, this whole drama is going to work well for the vaping scene you know, uh, it may or may not help to unite more vapors, more traders uh, it may or may not help to reignite sort of um, the passion for vaping uh, you know unfortunately or fortunately I don't really know how, how you put this but um, the way I see it is that vaping is becoming a very commercialized thing now well, not a very, but an increasingly commercialized thing. Uh, it's sort of the go-to thing, you know, you don't know what business to do, try vaping. Low capital, big market. Uh, and you know, it's all this sort of, um, this sort of uh, capitalist uh, fundamentals that starts to muck things up, you know. It stops being a hobby, or such stops being a, a passion, and starts being all about the money. We all know that never ends well. Anyway, I'm gonna take one last vape on my um, fogger. I love this tank. Uh, one last vape on the fogger, and uh, we're gonna call it a night. I'm going to uh, stop the video, upload it to YouTube. Hopefully, I'll be able to post in the morning or at night, depending on how long it takes to upload. But yeah, um, hope you had a hope you enjoyed looking at my new gear. I'm not trying to show off, I'm just trying to share you know, what's coming in, what's not coming in, uh, what's on the market. Um, you know, I'm just going to continue a little bit longer. <laughs> um, I talked about, I wrote about Muhammad Raihan before on the blog. Uh, you know, he's the guy that made all the uh, custom drip tips, the Hellfire lookalikes, the K-Fun lookalikes with the uh, sort of funnel, you know, reduced chamber drip tips you know, those are awesome those are really awesome and uh, you know I've been following his work quite closely since then you know he's tried making his own mods you know what he calls the machine taboo <laughs> there was ridges all over it and it looks like you know the machine they used to make uh, sugarcane juice um, you know that was interesting but I don't know it's just something about this guy, you know, he knows what the market wants but doesn't have. And right now that is, uh, you know, Upgrade Kits. Um, he recently posted um, 
upgrade kits for the K fund, making it into a K fund, uh, a reduced K fund. Uh, he made a pure, sort of clear, clear plastic uh, center post, no, center chimney, chimney top, and uh, you know a full to go along with this full uh, clear K fund tank. You know they call it an M tank, but for him, you know he has the M in it as well. So that's bloody cool. Um, and yesterday he posted up, was yesterday the day before, he posted up um, a reduced kit for the Typhoon. Uh, a reduced kit for the Typhoon and also a clear top for the Typhoon. So you know, it's really interesting to see what he's pushing up. He's pushing a lot of upgrades, um, you know. If you don't really uh, follow his work, you, know, you, you might not know that he also came up with the pure copper centre post for the k 3.1. Uh, he came up with uh, a lot of other sort of tweaks and updates for 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 common vaping gear. You know, reduced chamber for the Agati, uh, with stacked uh, stacked air holes. Very good work. If you don't know already, please look him up on Facebook. Uh, he's Muhammad Raihan. He can be found posting in a lot of the uh, popular vape groups. You know, Vmog is one of them. Um, where else does he post? He posts in a lot of places. Uh, Malaysian models very exciting guy to watch I love his stuff okay I'm really done for now <laughs> really done I've talked much longer than I planned to um, I hope I haven't bored you out uh, I know a lot of guys have probably tuned out after the first two minutes I don't blame you but um, you know as this sort of a uh, video blog process goes on I'll learn how to edit myself a bit more right so one last puff and you'll call it a night See you guys.